Hi, Flossum. I'm still here in Nassau. I'm not in San Antonio. I'm in my stitchy spot. Why, you ask? Well, COVID-19. So today's going to be a long video, and I'm making it long on purpose because I have been enjoying watching long floss tube videos because I'm home. And I'm sure you guys need some more at-home entertainment. So I'll try to make this as entertaining as possible. Um, I will also put timestamps on the bottom of all of the things that I'll be talking about. So if there's a certain subject that you don't care to listen to, then you can see when I will be talking about it and jump to the next session that interests you. So that way I'm not wasting your time and you're not there listening to me ramble for no reason. So first update, why am I still here in Nassau and not in San Antonio? I don't know what I've talked about on Floss 2, but my sister, my younger sister, was supposed to get married on April 24th. Her bridal shower was scheduled for this Sunday, and her bachelorette weekend is was next weekend. So we started with canceling the bachelorette festivities. I want to say, gosh, all my time has been running together, but I'm going to say that it was probably over the weekend. Over the weekend, we took the decision because we were seeing how um, the country was reacting to the situation and shutting things down. And also the initial recommendation of staying in small groups and away from people were being released. So partying it up in a club did not seem appropriate given the recommendations. I will say that at that point in time, I guess maybe it was about, well, I know for sure 10 days ago, 10 days ago-ish, it may have been sooner, my husband came home squawking like a chicken with his head cut off about how this is a disaster, this is insane, that the world was gonna end, and I was just like, yo, really not that big of a deal. It's just a virus, just a virus. And so he was like, no, you don't understand. And I was like, no, believe me, I understand. I work in healthcare, I'm good. And it's gonna be just fine. And my sister works in health, my whole family works in healthcare and we're gonna be fine. So you need to chill out. Luckily, he does not watch Floss Tube because about 10 days ago, the ball just went down the stairs. And now he's gonna come back up. So you hear that. Or maybe he'll say it up. No. What's a Coco Hamas to tree fluff you without a ball and a Frenchie? And gremlin noises. Anyway, so about 10. Sorry, side rant. I told you that this was gonna be a long video. I'm gonna rant a lot. So um, my husband was squawking with his head cut off. He called my parents. He was like, no one's listening to me. This is a big deal. We need to shut everything down. And we were like, are you nuts? Like, we're not gonna shut down all of the wedding festivities over this virus. You're nuts. Like, you're crazy. No, bye. So luckily he doesn't watch Floss Tube. And luckily he's not going to hear me say he was right. Because this ended up being a big deal. Big, big deal. Um, that being said, I am going to just do a mini, a mini, 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 just PSA. Okay, here's my PSA. We are recommended to stay at home. Different parts of the United States are handling the situation differently. Um, I am a low risk person for COVID-19. I could get this and be asymptomatic, I could have a slightly sore throat, maybe a runny nose, cough. I never get tested for it, right? Because there's no need to go to the hospital and get tested for it if I'm just lightly sick. But let's say that I have it. Now I go out, live my normal life. I spring break, spring breakers. I do all these things. Those people are low risk too. So they're not gonna care. It's no big deal, it's just a cold. Okay, so they live about their lives. They go to the grocery store, they do the things that they need to do, they see the people that they wanna see. All of a sudden you have transmitted 
this virus, which is invisible because nobody knows that they're carrying it. Everyone's asymptomatic. I have just like a slightly sore throat. It's just allergies, no big deal. Until the virus gets to our stitchy community. Let's say, because this is a, I'm gonna give another example. I was about to travel. Traveling has a risk. I'm in an airplane, I'm going through airports. So I now am a risk because I may be carrying this virus. I would have hit up the little needle workshop. I want to stock on, on all my things, right? What happens to the owners that I dormantly passed on the virus to? So I develop a sore throat, no biggie. But what happened to the owners of the LNS or the stitchy table? I talked to all of them. I wanted to see their work. I get really close to them and I'm just, Maybe I sneeze because I have a reflex. I sneeze a lot due to the sun. So I go outside, I sneeze, and there are my droplets everywhere. Um, no biggie. They could all die. Our floss tube community, we could really pass this bug off and be a really big deal. Um, Colleen from Stitching with the Sisterlies. If she gets this, it's going to be a tough fight for her. She may be the one who needs one of the vents. Uh, Katie Carney from Katie Stitching. She has a heart condition. A pretty intense heart condition that required open heart surgery. If I give it to her because I just I had to see her, then my sore throat becomes her death sentence. That is why we're staying at home. I don't do this because I want you guys to be scared. I do this because I am in a position where one, I, I was the person that was underreacting. I was, I was going to go along with all of the wedding festivities because it's wedding, it's wedding time. We've been planning these events for a year. Um, I was that person. I was that person. If I could talk to myself 10 days ago and be like, you're so dumb for thinking that all these things are going to go through. Like, I would have thanked my future, my future self that I talk about all the time failed me. Failed me. But not everything is going to be, well, not everything. So I'm a positive person, right? Not everything is terrible. We're recommended to stay at home. When have we ever been recommended to stay at home? Let's take advantage of it. My siblings right now are doing crafts that I used to do when I was little that take that have never been worked on because they have never been sentenced to home and not hanging out with their friends, you know, or an extended spring break uh, due to health precautions. So my little brother is doing a paint by numbers, paint by numbers. My little sister's doing diamond painting. I told both of them, you guys are basically cross-stitchers. That's what I do. I paint with floss and I count floss instead of diamonds and painting. It's the same, it's very similar. So I have added two new cousin cross-stitchers, a paint by numbers and a diamond painter. That's super cool. Our floss tube community now, I was in a very terrible mental state. Terrible, terrible. I mean, the mourning the loss of my sister's events and trying to help be the emotional support to my sister who has been planning this for a year and everything just, I'm going to cuss, went to shit. Everything, everything did. It's terrible. It's a really hard pill to swallow. Super hard pill to swallow. But you know what? You know what is super, I guess, eye-opening is this morning going on Facebook, right? I get a ticker and it says that a mother of six in Washington passed away um, from COVID-19 and she had just beat breast cancer. That's insane. So then I'm like, oh my gosh. I could be that person who killed her. 
So I'm grounded here in Nassau. Our fridge is stocked. Uh, I went on a water hunt this morning. Getting water has been a little tricky, but I think I'll resolve that tomorrow with no big deal. Our clinic is closed. Um, they're switching to telemedicine and teletherapy. I don't have any patients on caseload right or on schedule right now because I'm supposed to be in San Antonio. So, I mean, it really doesn't affect me. Um, but it does, it affects everybody and affects everything. It affects, um, uh, people who are being laid off. It affects everything, but there will be, will be a light at the end of the tunnel. We may not see it right now, but we will, we will eventually see the light if we all adhere to what everyone is recommending us to do. That's only if we do that. And I fear for my family in Chile, Chile, Ch Chile in South America, because they have a low confirmed case reporting, right? But they're going into winter. They also have a very high population, super high population in Santiago, the capital. Uh, I have my 80 something, don't even know how old, year old grandmother who is a breast cancer survivor. And I don't know if my family over there will take this seriously. I, they may react just like I reacted 10 days ago and just like the spring breakers in Miami, Florida. I don't know, it's hard, it's really hard, it's tough. And like I said, I'm sorry that I'm doing a PSA and I'm ranting about it, but if I lose some followers and subscribers, but save a life, because now maybe you do see that you could be the one who's responsible for someone else's death, maybe it's all worth it in the end. And that's all I'm going to talk about related to that. That's it. I'm done with it. Okay. I'm done with it from here. It's just happy, uplifting news. I just, I couldn't hold my tongue anymore. And I love all of you, I really do. And I wasn't going to do this, but I just, if losing subscribers and losing followers saves one life, I'm okay with it. And I am going to continue my daily routine of staying at home, <laughs> which eh, didn't change much anyway. And I really think that doesn't change much for a lot of you guys out there too. How many floss tube and chill all day? Let's be, let's be real, let's confess, a lot of us. How many of us spend 10 hours stitching a day? Mm -hmm. When I can. So let's get our whips out, let's finish these whips, and let's get the show on the road. Let's take advantage and look at the silver lining in all of this. This is great stuff for our community. Stay home. No one's gonna tell you not to. I'm saving a life. Anyway, done. Mic highlighter drop. I'm done. I'm done with it, done. And if you sat through all of that, thank you. And if you didn't sit through all of that, thank you too. And if you hit unsubscribe, that's great. And if you subscribe because of it, thank you. Okay, let's get to my whips. So, I have been working, not much. I literally probably put in six stitches a day, Monday, Tuesday, like over the weekend, I didn't stitch much. When your headspace is really clogged up and you're nervous, and I'm not like a nervous person. Well, I'm not, yeah, I know I am, okay, okay, okay. My people that know me in real life know that I'm a nervous person. But I, I couldn't get my head game in, so I didn't stitch much. But yesterday, after all the decisions were made and my flight was canceled and everything, I finally felt a little bit of relief because I'm bunkering down here and stitching my life away. So I've been working on, where's the chart? Which is coming out really nice. So there we have Athena. I had started, I think last time I showed you this, I was like starting down here and I had said I was going to travel up to get to her face. So I went ahead and finished the owl. The back stitching is not 100% complete and those wonky looking stitches is whisper thread. So that's why those stitches look kind of wonky. It needs to be brushed out, but I won't brush it out till the end. 
and I have worked on her face a little bit and I've moved up to the top a little bit. All of those empty spots are all beads and I don't know if I'm going to bead right away or bead at the end. <sighs> Just, I don't know what I feel like right now. Oh my gosh, I have coffee right here and if it dunks in the coffee, I will die. Okay, her skin is stitched two over one tent stitch. So it's a new technique I'm trying. Instead of one over one, it's two over one tent stitch. Let me see if I can get closer. It goes a lot quicker, but I don't know if I'm liking that technique 100% or not yet. Jury's still out. I've got a gazpacho needle minder, Otterly in X stitches on Etsy, and it's on an 1111 Q snap frame. Oh, uh, fabric, 32 count linen, but I don't know what color. Don't know. So that's where I'm at right now. And yesterday I really had caught the stitchy bug back again, and I worked on her all day yesterday. I watched a lot of floss tube yesterday. I watched um, a couple of shows on Netflix. So yesterday was finally like a day that I could calm down. I don't want, again, I had said, I don't want this to be a, a sad video. I want it to be happy. I am a chatty Cathy. I love to talk. I talk for a living. I teach people to talk. Uh, and on top of that, we need to come together virtually even more so than before because this is a very unsettling time. So please feel free to reach out to me, ask me questions, DM me, find out what's going on here in Nassau, how things are happening here, um, you know, just, just to keep some level of social norm while we're stuck. We're the majority are introverts, right? I'm one of those like extrovert introvert, like I'm super social and talkative, but I would definitely prefer to be in my house and hidden away than like go out to a party. But I love to talk and I love deep conversations. So my Instagram handle is Cocohama Stitchery. My name's Rocio. DM me, direct message me and strike up a conversation. I'm here for you. And I have been talking to new people uh, through all of this. So um, made by Michelle McGraw, Michelle. Uh, she's reached out a couple times and we've had some really cool conversations. So. We can make new stitchy friends through all of this. I kind of abandoned the common thread and stitcher a little bit, because like I said, my head space was bad. So I just didn't have even the energy or motivation or desire to one stitch, two post on common thread and stitcher, and now I'm so far behind that I just, let me just record a floss tube. <laughs> That's all I can do. And I don't know if I'll be keeping up with it. I'm gonna try, but probably not. So yeah, so that's Athena in my Rika House of Stitch and Stash bag from last year before she got crazy famous. She's so cute, Rika. We should check in on Rika. Rika's probably slaving away and socially isolating herself in her sewing room and getting through the pre-orders. So here's Macaw. I still have not finished this half page, but I did work on more green blobs. The blobbiness is coming together but I really don't feel like stitching blobs. So, I don't know. I should make it a goal to just stitch a blob a day because a blob a day keeps the husband happy, which he's working from home next week. It's gonna be very interesting. I may move upstairs away we will see uh ooh, if you are a couple that is working from home or you have a spouse who was working in the office and came home how are you guys doing it because i want to be mindful of the noise level taking care of gazpacho who is very disruptive not right now but normally very disruptive um and 
and he, I don't, I don't know. We don't have an office space here. So his office space is going to have to be like the dining room and the kitchen area. And I think I'll just move upstairs. We have like a really small television there that I'll just hook up a Roku or something to and just kind of shut myself up there. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen, but yeah. And then the next thing that we are doing, oh, if you guys need a laugh right now, uh, stitching with the sisterlies, their latest floss tube. I was just laughing so hard, like the whole time. May have been deliriousness, deliriousness, delirium, delirium, <laughs> words. Uh, but God, I was just, I was belly laughing in some of the, they're just so funny. They're just so funny. I think that the longer that they're going to be in this social distancing and quarantine together, the funnier their floss tubes are gonna be because their patience levels with each other are gonna go down. I think it's gonna be really good stuff. <laughs> oh, so I love you guys. Love you, Colleen and Cheryl, or Shalene. <laughs> love you guys. Um, so yeah, and then some other people that have been watching are Janet Jabber. Super cute. Uh, I started from the beginning and have just worked myself up. Made by Michelle McGraw, The Usuals. Kyle just put out a new video. Thank you, Kyle. We appreciate it. Our Kyle fan club. Uh, Ellen, Pam and Seth, Snug Harbor, X Stitch MD, Shiloh, and many, many, many more. But those are the ones that just kind of came to head because those are the people that I watched yesterday. I just kind of watched them all. So my giveaway is still open. It's like most things been postponed a little bit. I don't quite know when it'll get, get, get closed, but you can still enter. It's in my last floss tube video. So I'm going to keep everything in the last floss tube video. Uh, it's floss tube number seven, lucky number seven. I'm giving away a clay by Kim clover needle minder for a big thank you and because I'm hitting really close to 1,000 and so subscribers and today it'll probably drop to 500 after my COVID-19 rant, but that's okay. It's still a great thank you to all of you because it's not about the subscribers, it's about the love and the appreciation in our community. Love you guys and I love all of the new friendships I've made virtually and watching all of you guys and especially during this really difficult time around the world it's been really great so if you haven't entered please go and watch you don't have to watch the whole thing but go to floss tube number seven in the comments just write clover uh i'll clover and i'll do one of those generator thingies and pick a random person and we'll get it sent off as soon as things kind of calm down as uh, soon as things calm down, I even if I'm not in San Antonio, my sister can send it out. So we don't have an issue there. I was hoping that it would be me so that I could write something super nice and everything, but we'll see. Just like everything else right now, we will see. And as a special, I right before going to San Antonio, I was working on pairing fabrics and kidding charts that I have that I love as future whips and new starts so oh my gosh this is what we're going to be doing i'm going to since i don't have my san antonio haul go through my kitted stash and semi kitted stash grab your coffee your alcohol your bottled water pause take a bathroom break this is gonna be a doozy I don't know how I'm going to organize this. I think I'm just going to pull and dump. So the one that doesn't fit in the bin and they're all, the majority are in either Ziploc or these, I've talked about these before, they're Amazon vinyl zip bags, super inexpensive and I just plop everything in there. So this one didn't fit and it's part of like my stitchy stash down here because it was something that I would, I'm ready to start, which now that I think about it, I'm probably going to have to wait because I'm waiting on the fabric. Oh, bummer. 
that's okay. I have other things. So this is Fairy Idol. I cannot wait to start her. I can't wait. She's like my next start. Well, I say that and then I have another like random start to go in between because I actually have a planned start in the light of all of this. I have a I have a COVID-19 start. So I'll probably start that in the next couple of days. And then I'll probably be recording more or at least posting it on, on Instagram. So follow me on Instagram so you can see what I'm doing because I'm trying to be more active. Anyway, so very idle. I had her kitted with, everyone says, I'm sorry about the crinkles. I love crinkles. So this is color and cotton. Uh, lamb's ear. It was a uh, fabric of the month. Thir every it's thirty-two count linen. It was a fabric of the month, but Fairy Idol is so big that that fabric is not going to fit. So I ended up ordering, and I think it's already been delivered. The color and cotton. Not sure what color, but I'm going to put it here. They didn't have lamb's ear, but I picked another gray. So a nice like gray color for her background. Uh, just like the macaw, I already have like an FFO in my brain where she's gonna go in a beautiful, simple white frame and she's just gonna be up somewhere. Oh, I can't wait because I love, this is I think my favorite Mirabilia. Very idle. Do we keep Tally? That's one. So, this is semi-kitted. This is one that I was supposed to get the floss in San Antonio for. This is the Petal Fairy by Mirabilia. And the fabric I have for her is Memory. It is a 32 count Lugana. So my only fear with this, and these aren't set in stone. I was just trying to kind of pair everything. My only fear is that her wings look very similar to this color. So I'm gonna have to do a floss toss before this becomes the final fabric. And that would be a semi-kitted kit. Semi-kitted kit, semi-kitted project. Oh gosh, no, I'm gonna put it away. You guys are gonna deal with me putting it away because if I throw it all on the floor, it'll be an issue. So I apologize for the crinkles, even though I love crinkle sounds on video. I think there's like this huge ASMR, I hope that's right. And where it's like noises that you like to hear. Some people like like whispering and stuff like that. Crinkling for me, oh, love it. There's that one. Number two, this will be number three. Number three is the Gypsy Mermaid. Mirabilia, she has all of her floss and her beads, everything already ready to go. And the fabric I chose for her is cucumber by Color and Cotton, 32 count Belfast linen. So it's kind of greeny. I do not have plans to start her anytime soon, but if I am stuck at home for a super long time and need more projects, I have one. I have actually a lot. So in doing this, this also helps me realize that even though I'm not getting my San Antonio haul, I do have a lot of projects that I can work on or start if I go insane, which I won't. I won't go insane. So one, two, three, this is four. And this one is fully kitted. This is The Enchanted Mermaid by Mirabilia, fully kitted. So I have all of the floss and all of the beading and everything on hers. And Crinkle Crinkle, 
She will be on a 32 count linen, Hera by Under the Sea Fabrics. So it has like a blue and a purple. I think she'll look super nice on that. Did a floss toss on it and it looked amazing. Crinkle, crinkle, back in the back. She is missing the DMC and everything actually, except one Karen Water Lily. So this is Gypsy Queen. I wanted to kit her up as soon as I got to San Antonio. So this is a semi-kitted. She was going to be on Picture This Plus Earthen. Super pretty. And this is a 32 count linen. Semi-kitted. So this one I had posted last year, I think, on Common Threaded Stitcher, and someone reached out. No, 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 no. I lied, I lied, I lied. I learned about it last year, and I fell in love with this chart. In love. So this is Birds of a Feather, Happy Heart Sampler. I'm going to put down who did it, whose fault it is that I had to have this, and I put a post on the oh yeah, the cross stitch market not marketplace but the cross stitch unloading group on Facebook in the in search of and someone contacted me and said they had it and that they would sell it to me I don't know but my I'm shaking because I had caffeine my LNS in San Antonio stitches from the heart but this is not one that they like the sticker is not one that I recognize. So I'm not sure if that is my LNS or just a coincidence. Anyway, and I need all of the fancy floss, which is in San Antonio. And this one is going to be on color and cotton raw muslin. Ooh, I think I said that correct. Maybe not. 32 count Belfast linen. And so, yeah. That one is semi-kitted as well. That is hard work. I'm getting hot. Okay, this yellow submarine by Blackbird Designs is fully kitted. But I don't know if I'm loving the fabric choice. I had paired it with Atlantis by Under the Sea Fabric. Mm, I don't know yet. So I did a floss toss. So like I said, I have the floss. Let me organize this. Oh my gosh, everything's falling. I just don't, I'm not 100% on it. My husband called to see if we have hand soap. We do. So anyway, I don't know if I love that. Don't know. But this fabric was very, well, it's Atlantis. It's very sea-like. And hello, it's a yellow submarine. So I don't know. Not 100% on it, but if... The world ends, I have this kit that I can start. So this one's fully kitted. Number eight, Prairie Moon, the Queen of Hearts. She is also fully kitted. So I have all of the gentle art threads. And I'm planning on stitching this on Picture This Plus 32 Count Linen Tyco. So that'll pop and look nice. Tyco. 
fully kitted. And coffee break. Look, it has my name on it. What, Rosie? Oh, <laughs> oh, it is so hot. I'm gonna turn on the AC. Hold. Okay, how many are we in? I think this is nine. I don't know if I should tie my hair up. Is this how I should do it? Just tie my hair up. Oh. Okay, kit. I saw this fully finished, or finished actually, on Reddit years ago. And it was beautiful. So I had to have it, but I think it was out of print. I don't even know. It's been forever, but it's a full kit DMC. Everything's in there. I think it's Ada. I haven't even opened it. 16 count Ada. So I may switch that out for either an even weave or a linen. But isn't it so pretty? So fully kitted. Number ten. Where did I see this? I don't know where I saw this, but I had to have it. This is done. This chart, let's see. I know he's Italian. Yeah, Renato Parolin. Super cute. It's gonna be a huge Christmas tree. I don't have the floss. Well, I probably do in my DMC stash, but that's what I have picked to go with it. It's a little dark for my liking. So may get switched, but I need to pull the floss and toss it. This is Fiberlicious Golden Oak from their Fabric of the Month, 32 count linen. Yeah. So this one's a semi kit, but actually I really think that it's a full kit. Like I'm pretty, I have all of the DMC, but what I like to do is if I have some, like a project, I'll pull, I'll go and buy the DMC for it. So that way I don't go into my stash and my stash is more of a reserve. But in case of emergencies, like right now, it would definitely go in, oh gosh, my nose. See, you touch your face a lot. Uh, it would definitely go into here and it would turn into a fully kitted kit. So now number 11. Oh no, these, okay, so actually these two charts are in this box because I wanted to get them fully kitted on this trip to San Antonio that didn't happen. Halloween Quaker by Lila Studio. I wanted to get all of the fancy floss and I ordered the murky Newcastle linen by Picture This Plus, 40 count. I ordered it because look at that fabric. Look at it, it's so cute. So this one is definitely not fully fitted. And then this one, same thing. Um, actually, we may actually be able to kit this one right now because, okay. So this is Tonight is Halloween by Kathy Barrick. Super cute. And the called for floss is DMC, but, 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 watch this. So the DMC again, I could hit up my stash. I wanted to do this and I forgot, so now I can do it because I have everything out. 
color and cotton lamb's ear can definitely be the background of this. Ooh, but maybe I want it to go more purple. Ah, decisions, decisions. But in case of emergency, possibility. I'm putting it in. Now I have to recount. Oh. This is fully kitted as well. This is Little House Needleworks. Traveling Stitcher. Super cute. So I bought this one at Crinkle Crinkle at uh, the Tinsmith's Wife in Comfort, Texas. And it came already, so with this made, I cannot sew, so <laughs> this is perfect for me. And the colors are super sweet. Rika, you like that? You like that color combo? Rika would have done it opposite. Rika would have done the inner as the outer and the outer as the inner. But I kind of dig that like pop, pop a flower. Okay, so chart came with the fancy floss already in it. So here are the Fancy Floss by Classic Color Works. So they're all in there. And then I needed the fabric. And this fabric I used years ago. It's an even weave I bought at Joanne. I, they don't have it anymore, but it's like super thick and nice. It's beautiful to stitch on. I stitched the llamas that I showed last week on this. So it's just left over. I thought it'd be perfect. So all of that goes together and is a fully kitted. So another project that I can definitely start if I go nuts. I think we're on 13. This one is also fully kitted. This is The Baker's Wife, fairly new by Nora Corbett. Um, her companion piece already was released. I forgot the name of it. Uh, something about Rowan, but I'll put the name of the companion piece. I was not a fan of the companion piece and I was waiting to pair and find out what I was going to do until the companion piece came out and I found out that I don't love it. So I just love the Baker's Wife. So the fabric I paired for the Baker's Wife is Fiberlicious. This is fi fabric of the month for November. I think it was for November. Pretty sure. Yeah, November. And it's November rain. So the colors will super pop on this. And it's a dark kind of eerie fabric. So I really wanted to get, and you see a lot of see-through there, but if I stand behind it, maybe you won't. These like eerie colors. Oh, <coughs> Gaspacho does not like the eerie colors of the fabric. I put it away. Stop it. Stop, stop. Muff. So she is fully kitted and ready for a start. Coffee break. And we got some coffee ground stuff on the bottom. Guys. This project is definitely like on the ups and ups of being a very near new start. Because when I was kidding everything up, I just couldn't even with this. 
couldn't even. I fell in love, love. So this is Bluebeard's Princess Mirabella in parentheses by Mirabilia. I love her. But the reason I really love her and I'm going to love her even more is because guys, this fabric was perfect. Oh, you can't see. Maybe if I do this, this is green. No, you, it doesn't show up on the, the camera. So I'm gonna insert a picture because they did a floss toss and took a picture. So right there, bing. But this is ever, no, it just doesn't, won't even do it justice. So this evergreen fabric was paired and floss tossed. And I don't know if it happens to you, but when you like pair everything and it's like fully hidden and you have this like, yes, moment, the project just gets thrown to be one of the top on the list. So again, Fiberlicious Evergreen Fabric of the Month for December, 32 count linen. It was perfect. I've got all of the floss all ready to go. I think the only thing that's missing for her are the beads, which I ordered already from 123 Stitch. So they are definitely at home in San Antonio. And, but that's okay because I have all of the other floss and I have all of the Karen Water Lilies. Crinkles. I love crinkles. <laughs> the air conditioning kicked on. It's much better. But now my hair is getting to that length again from the beginning of my floss tubes where I don't... It, there's just a fine line between long hair and just extra long hair. So, she is definitely a start... A very very top of the list start very top of the list start but fully kitted so this one i had originally kitted up this is little house needleworth around the world in 80 days this really spoke to me when i purchased it last year through 123 stitch because i was traveling so much last year and i think i've mentioned it before but i have an irrational fear of fly flying in airplanes irrational i've been flying since i was like three months old internationally i mean literally from north america south to south america overnight flights my entire life i still remember my sister and i plugging in our headphones into the little radio that was in the armrest. We would dance and try to rem try to figure out what station you were listening to d based on the dance moves. Those were the things that we used to do when we were like, gosh, I guess five years old and she must have been, I don't know, like, I remember all of that stuff. We were ridiculous. Anyway, I also remember still smoking and non-smoking sections of the plane. Like I have faint memories of all of that. I just, all of those things. So I, there's no reason why I should be afraid to fly. None. Exposure is like 100%. Shiloh. Shiloh, if you don't know, X-Stitch X -stitch MD. Shiloh, you are a psychiatrist. If you can cure me of my fear of flying, I will pay you in floss. I will pay you in all of the fancy flosses of the world cure me because it's an irrational fear of flying irrational i make up things in my head stories crisis i'm very creative and my brain likes to be very creative and psych me out there you go shout out shiloh please help <laughs> anyway so that's why this really spoke to me because it was like okay get over your fear of traveling and flying around the world in 80 days and that's really how i felt so i paired it with this is Picture This Plus 32 Count Linen Moon Glow. It's like a yellow. And this is more of a tan. But this, to me, spoke more like a sunlight. And honestly, I was trying to pair stuff that I had. So I don't know. It's a maybe, but 
I liked it. It's a cute little small. And I had originally kitted it with DMC, but I want to switch to Fancy Floss because after stitching, after stitching my Owl Forest Embroidery Whale, variegated floss and hand dyed floss is just uh, when it's all stitched and you get that variegation it just gives a really nice effect and I was super against fancy floss and I know a lot of people are but it's kind of worth it on some things next I have one two three so I went through a really addictive well, addictive. Nah. I went through another phase uh, through the pumpkins, frosted pumpkin stitchery. I did their stitch along, the Let's Go On an Adventure, which is actually getting fully finished on the other side of the world right now. My aunt took it. So she's making it into a pillow. As soon as I get a picture and stuff, I'll put it in there. But anyway, during that time, I love, 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 love. Uh, all of their cutesy little samplers and stitch lines and stuff. So I have three fully kitted projects from when they were initially released that I just haven't done. So I'll put the patterns here because they're all PDF or like a picture of what it's supposed to be. So this one is a very merry Christmas town and it's completely fully kitted the fabric i don't want to take it all out of the bag but it's eh, it's this picture it's fully kitted so it goes into the fully kitted pile then i have into the into the jungle that was a stitch along too that i did i signed up for i got everything for it but just never did but I have it. And this last one is the Happily Ever After Linen Kit. And that one's fully kitted too. So that's three frosted pumpkin stitchery kits that I also have to start in this stitchy apocalypse. Next. We're almost near the end of my semi-kitted and fully kitted kits. Semi-kitted, fully kitted kits. That's like a tongue twister ready to happen, but I'm not going to try it. No, I'm not going to try it. Okay, so this one is missing everything except the linen. Then I crinkle at you. Lavender and Lace, Angel of Love. I've seen several finished ones and they're amazing. And she will be done on Under the Sea Fabrics Beach Walk, 32 count linen. I love this linen. Ta-da! And it has like some blue tones in this linen. Oh, you can't see it on the camera, but there's like some underlying blue tones, which will look nice with the blue tones on the angel. fully kitted as well. This is Rapunzel. Rapunzel was purchased, I think she was my second, no, I think she was my first Mirabilia purchase ever. And she's still not started. But she was definitely my first. I want to say that my second was Athena, actually. So now that Athena's been started, I guess Rapunzel will be on the list. And I liked her because I love... I love anything that has, like, long hair. I don't know why. Maybe because I see myself in those ladies with long hair. I don't know. And, hello, it has an R. My name is Rocio. It starts with an R. So, I don't know. I like her a lot. She's super pretty. 
And I have her kitted up with 32 count linen Ain. I think it's Ain by Under the Sea Fabrics. So pink instead of blue. And if you floss toss it, I'm just gonna grab some of the flosses. Those blues are gonna pop super nice. I think it's gonna be a really good color choice. So yeah, she is completely fully kitted. So she goes to the fully kitted, can definitely start pile. Another fully kitted. Everyone's seen her. This is Night Walk Down, which I nonstop called Harvest Moon because at the same time I was looking for the classic color works, I think, or Gentle Arts. I don't remember which one, but Harvest Moon. And so it was at the same time that I was looking for this and she also looks like Harvest Moon just because they say moon in, yeah, so by the blue flower. So she is super cute. I've seen her stitch several times. I have everything to start her and I have not started her. And the fabric that I have for her, that I have written down here, oh my gosh, she's sliding off and is on the floor. Night walk down, fell down. This is Ancient by Picture This Plus. And it is 40 count. So a little different take. And her floss looks like this. So definitely a start. That could definitely happen in the near future. So another one. The Christmas Elf Fairy Mirabilia Kit has everything. So in the kit pile. These two are missing fabrics. Blooming Bouquets by Jeanette Douglas. So we have number one, Thankful and number three, joyful. Oh, hold. That's better, joyful. But they don't have fabric. That fabric was supposed to get bought. And I wanted to, I think, I don't know. They're both on Legacy by Picture This Plus, but I was wanting to go to my LNS and figure out which ones. Last, not least, the Mill Hill button and bead kits, buttons and beads kits. I'm gonna go through just really quickly, lightning fast. I've never done one before and it's on the pe perforated paper. So this one is Village Inn. The Millinery Shop, which I found now. <laughs> is a hat place, cobbler, <gasps> I love this one, haunted library, and queen and house. I have 22 fully kitted possible new starts including several Mirabilia's and lots of big boy projects. I'm gonna be okay. So I challenge you all, go and find out and start, we're at home, go and organize your stuff. Start pairing your fabrics with the stuff that you have. We all have stash, some have more stash than other people, but we have stash and kit everything up or not like go out and purchase and kit everything up right now, stay home. But go and find out like what exactly it is that you can kit up at home and show us. Floss tubers, show your stash, your kitted up stash while we watch you on the screen for an hour, hour and a half. We need content. This is a PSA, we need content. Show me the floss tube. So I did the fully kitted. What's missing and in San Antonio almost is, oh, I can't start. One, two, 
three, four, five. So five almost kitted projects. And then next time we do a floss tube with a stitchy update, this little bag was supposed to go with me to the LNS because I was going to kit all of these up. So we'll go through this one next time. Just kidding. Six, seven. Seven. Seven almost fully kitted. Seven almost fully kitted kits. And I'll show you next time the stuff that I was planning on kitting up on this next journey to San Antonio, which will eventually happen. But until then, stay home, make floss tube content for all of us that are staying home so we have more reason to stay at home. Uh, stay home again. Oh, also stay home. And be a positive insight to this ugly world. Be nice to everyone. Stay far away from everyone. But FaceTime them, call them, direct message them. Let's get on this cyber train and be each other's emotional support human. Because this is going to be some really difficult times coming up ahead. And the only way we're going to get through it is together. So thanks again for those who stuck through this whole thing. Thank you for listening to me. Uh, thank you for giving me one portion of your quarantine day. I really do appreciate everyone. I appreciate everyone who has reached out to me. I appreciate everyone who has liked, commented, subscribed, especially now more than ever before because it gives me something to do and something to interact with other than gazpacho for the day. But again, uh, for those who listen to my COVID-19 little rant, it is something serious. For those who didn't listen to it, I hope I didn't bore you with all the rest of the stuff. And if I end up with only 200 followers and subscribers after this video, so be it. Thank you again. Thank you, thank you, thank you to everybody. And have a wonderful quarantine day with lots of stitchy material. See you later.